Today's video is sponsored by PureVPN, and PureVPN covers all your online needs from becoming anonymous while browsing online, playing games, and keeping all of your personal data safe and secure. You can unlock a region-locked streaming services, things like Amazon Prime, Netflix, BBC, and many other popular streaming services directly on the go with over 6,500 servers. You can enjoy PureVPN freely anywhere on any device. PureVPN is currently running a Cyber Monday promotion. Get 82% off on a two-year plan for for a dollar ninety nine cents a month, and if you use promo code iDeviceHelp, you get an additional ten percent off on Pure VPN. So what are you waiting for? Check out Pure VPN. Links will be in the description down below. So in today's video, I want to talk about a very popular bug that's been plaguing many iOS users since the initial launch of iOS 15. So iOS 15 launched with a bunch of new features, but some of these features, in my opinion, should have hindered some of the user experience. And the bug that I want to talk about today is a bug that may cost your iPhone's display to not register taps or swipes or touches at all. And I did some digging around some research myself with the newer and older devices over the weekend to try to pinpoint exactly where these issues are coming from. But as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and software updates don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode now as i mentioned touch inputs delays and swipes has been an issue since the initial launch of ios 15. now i've encountered multiple bugs within the software and i wanted to share the two most prominent bugs now number one is swiping to unlock your device sometimes and not registering the swipes now i did encounter this issue on my iphone 13 pro max when i first got it running iOS 15 and iOS 15.1. However, the latest beta for iOS 15.2 has addressed this issue and I haven't encountered this bug ever again. So now when I swipe up to unlock my iPhone on the latest 15.2 beta 3 as it sits right now, everything seems to be working as intended. Now, sometimes I would swipe over on these buttons here and sometimes it won't register the swipe. You see that? So I've registered uh, right here on top of the buttons and it doesn't register, but if I do it properly from the bottom of the screen it registers every time so if you're swiping right on these buttons here sometimes it won't register just swipe from the bottom and it should be fine as long as you're running ios 15.2 once it is released if you're still having these issues and you're running the latest beta you may want to look into the digitizer and we'll get to some of those details in just a few seconds now the other most popular issue that i've noticed or heard about is an issue within the actual photos application themselves and that is where the older device comes into play now, with iOS 15, Apple has added a new feature to the newer iPhones that allows you to copy text from an image. So if you tap and hold, you see right there, you can copy that text from an image. With an older iPhone, you simply just can't do that. It is not capable of doing that. I can tap and hold, and it won't register. What it does is it brings up the menus when I tap on the text. Now, as I mentioned, some users have reported that swipes and taps on some newer iPhones are not registering properly. And some of my research that I did on these iPhones is that on newer iPhones, since we do have that feature, it looks like the iPhone's software gets confused when you tap on an image or try to swipe on an image that contains text. For example, so here is this image with text, right? If I tap on the text, it won't register the input. You don't see the menus popping up. You see that? But if I tap on the blank area, it will register the taps. You see that? That is because, and I believe it's because the software is trying to determine if you're trying to copy that text or not when you tap on top of the text so it doesn't register the swipe or the actual tap. On an older device, since it does not have that feature, it doesn't matter where you tap, it always registers the tap. And as you can see right there, I can tap on top of the text or tap where there is no text and it will register the tap just like so. So my findings, at least within the Photos application, is that the software gets confused and it doesn't identify if you're looking to tap on the text itself or if you're looking to tap on the actual image to bring up the menu. So right here, I can tap where there's no text. It will register the tabs, as you can see right there. If I do it on top of the text, the menus do not disappear, as you can see right there. It's trying to determine what's happening. Now, if you're having more serious issues, which I've also heard about, where you tap on an application, it doesn't want to open, you're swiping through the menus within iOS, and it does not register the swipes, that could be a digitizer issue. And then I'll link down below resources where you can find a certified repair shop or an Apple store to get that checked out if you want to do that. Another thing 
thing you can do is completely reset your iPhone's uh, memory. So all you have to do is head on over into the accessibilities feature here on your iPhone. You want to head on over to touch and you want to go to assistive touch right here. You want to enable this option right here. You'll get this little bubble on the bottom of the screen here. You want to go ahead and press once on the volume up, once on the volume down, and then press and hold the side button here. One two and then press and hold you'll see the menu here tap on the little bubble for assistive touch and press and hold on that home button and this will reset the entire iphone's memory and maybe your iphone will stop being slow or it will start registering the tabs because maybe the memory was just overloaded for some reason i'm just giving you options at this point if that doesn't work then definitely take it to a certified repair shop or an apple store and those are pretty much my findings so just make sure that when you do tap on an image or swipe on an image in the photos you're not typing on top of text because that won't register the tab do it where there is no text as you can see right there and that should solve the problem hopefully apple will see this video and we'll see uh, something be done about it within the software part of it there you guys have it just a quick one on a very popular question thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace